What up, sir? Yo, it's Pete Nice. Oh, Pete, what's going on, man? What's going on, man? Yo, just calling in to uh, clear the air and maybe set some things straight because, yo, my man is bugging. What do you mean he's bugging? <laughs> well, first off, Step Into AM was written by me and Search and basically done before there was any talk by Leo or anyone <laughs> about using the song for anybody else. So, wait a minute. <laughs> that, shit, that shit is just bonkers. Okay, so, AOP, let me ask you a question, you fucking, fucking piece of shit. Oh, why didn't get out of here. When we so, were on fucking, why didn't you say anything when we were on checking, when we were on Sway, Sway in the morning when I told that same story? Why didn't oh, you well, you, you, that, when you are, you search, we're, we're, why didn't we're you really, no, no, way? I laughed. I laughed, search, well, and I didn't say you, shit. You're a I didn't say idiot. shit. And you, yo, let me tell you really? something, man. You know what? So many of your fucking rhymes, B. You oh my God! Phone right now before you're you such a clown. Else. You know what you said on Sway? You know what you said on Sway? You, said, on Sway? you said that we lit a fire under Rakim. We lit a fire. I'm telling you right so did we, now. Did Rakim know about it? If we lit a fire under him and had him finish the record in two weeks, so you took right. credit for following the leader. Wow. You you know what, Serge? You're a pathological liar. You're the Trump of hip hop. That's what uh that's what Paradise called you yesterday when I was talking to him meanwhile, about that. Meanwhile, Trump, you're the, the Trump of fucking hip hop. You're the fucking one who voted for Trump. You're really, really, really. Like you even million, like you even know me at this point. Sir. Millions of dollars. What a what a fucking clown. What a fucking clown. Poor clothes home. What a fucking clown. Doesn't even take care of his own Serge fucking Serge talking children. reckless. Search fucking up. reckless as usual. What the fuck up? Pathological liar who's admitted it time Yo, and time again. Yo, I wrote again. your fucking You're rhymes on Product of the Environment. Yeah. I wrote, oh, you wrote it. The you lyrics wrote, that you really? fucking put out there. Yo, B. Really? You're fucking full of shit and you're a fucking You're a clown, Serge. And this is all you really cute. Serge? That you like, get on like, the fucking uh, radio. Like, it's like really Uncle Baby Billy would say, you're on the is out the radio. G. I'm glad you know, you that you got on the fucking radio. You suck 10 dicks in the middle of the radio. I'm glad that you got on the radio. I'm glad that you got on the radio. Hold on, hold on, hold on, guys. Hold on, hold on, man. You got on the radio. It's you real let's, 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 you. let's get this started. Let's get this started. Let's get this started. Good for right? fucking fear. You always try too hard. Last year was able to get fucking like, more shit for his fucking bullshit. Just like you never kissed a white girl. MC Search. You're a fucking clown, Pete. You're, you're a, a clown. Fucking, you're a fraud, Serge. You've been a fraud. Hip-hop is a fraud. You've been a fraud for as long as you've been living, Serge. Like you sold all that fucking fraudulent fucking baseball memorabilia. Yeah, how about you? Larry Lipson and you owe him 986 Who got ran out of Detroit because he stole money from a Super Bowl party. Fucking fuck out of here. You're a thief, fucking clown. Don't ever put my fucking name out your mouth before you get put your name. I'll put my name. I'll put your name out your mouth anytime I want. You're my son. That's right, kid. <laughs> Wait a minute. You're my what son. Happened? What happened? Search, so, Search didn't address the point where he said, we lit a fire under Rakim, and he finished the album in two weeks. And oh. Search put himself up in it. Because oh. Search is the biggest dick rider in history. And that's pretty much enough said. Wait a minute, man. I thought you guys were fam and, like, did the album, the... The second, third. Yeah, I all all no of a girl. sudden, it's revisionist history with this kid. Like, he wrote any of my fucking lyrics. You got to be fucking kidding me. He didn't write any of your solo album, the solo album you did? <laughs> yeah, no, he, he didn't write that shit either. So, uh, unbelievable. Search, Search is a pathological liar. It's been his, his shtick for years. And, like, we could just, you know, <laughs> go name him chapter and verse. The kid, the kid is a fucking nut job. Oh, man. And and, and to, you know, the thing about with Rakim, let's say it was true that Lior did ask, and let's say in total fiction land, Rakim needed help on his rhymes, which is totally unfathomable, unbelievable. Uh -huh. <laughs> Even if that was true, if you were a real MC, would you come out and throw that out into the public arena in? And even if you think if Rakim's your man, would you would you punk him and clown him by throwing that into the arena? <laughs> no, he did it because he's a dick rider, and he just wants to get his name up there. Yo, yeah. I'm the guy who was asked to write by Leo Cohen for God MC. So that's what it's all about, man. And for for search to even come at you, 
<laughs> like, what are you supposed to be? Walt Cronkite? Researching, <laughs> search, you know, search podcast? <laughs> Kids are clowns. But, I mean, he, he tells his stories, and, you know, he has a lot of them, and he's been around for a long time. And he gets called out on a lot of these stories. He got called out on a Hammer story where he said, oh, I was going to bitch. I said, I told Greg Mack I was going to bitch, bitch smack him. And P just sat there on, uh, <laughs> on K-Day. And then, you know, I actually had the tape. So I gave it to uh, <laughs> Kid of Hip Hop DX, and uh, he ran it. And sure enough, another lie exposed by search. And the lies just go on. I mean, on and on and on. But, you know, the proof is in the pudding right there on Sway. Mm. And he said, oh, I didn't say anything. <laughs> when you're a pathological liar like Search, I, I would have had to walk out of every interview he ever did if I was calling him out on every single lie. Kid is, the kid is nuts. I'm trying to get Search you back know, on the radio. Search is like he said, fuck you. I'm like, fuck you too then. Well, you know, because he's exposed. That's what happens when you get exposed. You know what Search actually wrote? Uh, someone sent this. He wrote this on... Uh, on his Facebook, this is his actual words. Okay. I am a liar, and most of you who truly know me have covered for me, but this is truth. So, yeah, I was one of those people who covered him for him for years, but he's a fucking liar. Wow. <laughs> and he said, you know, he went on to say, with words that hurt people because I lied <laughs> or cheated them. You know, he's a liar and a cheater. He's, he's a scumbag. So uh, he, he's ruined our legacy for forever. So, uh, you know, I have nothing to do with this kid. But you I'm guys ever do a reunion? Shit like this. And, and, you know, I give it, I give it up to Rakim, you know, finally hearing, you know, feedback from how that's in the arena. Yeah. And listen, so Serge tried to backtrack on that Instagram post with you coming to you, Seer, saying, Rakim didn't know about this. Eric B. didn't know about this. It was just Lior Cohen. Well, how is that the case if you said – we, we meeting me and him, third base, lit a fire mm-hmm. under Rakim, and he finished his album, Follow the Leader, in two weeks. <laughs> yeah. It's like the Twilight Zone. Yeah, I don't know. Cue the music. So that's all I really got to say. I mean, <laughs> right. he's clowned himself enough in this industry. Oh, man. Pete, I didn't even know he's going to call up. Damn, man. Well, uh, Pete, Well, man. hey, listen, you know, he can only go out there on check for so long. And, you know, it's even to the point where I think one of the funniest things with this kid, he, you know, before we met, he had a couple of Frisbees. Melissa, where he's doing a, a Slick Rick Dana Dane ripoff. And uh turns out, you know, Search went on this podcast with uh, – people send me all these podcasts. He's on with that kid, uh, I think Neil Brennan, who was Dave Chappelle's uh, – partner mm-hmm. and he made a big point to say that he never kissed a white girl in his life that the only white girl he ever kissed was his sister so sure enough i saw this picture and it's searching the crowd at a, at a show and he's there with this little white girl and then, then my man says oh yeah that's a chick i think or it might not be her but there was this white chick search went with who sang Damn. the little part in melissa where it said uh don't you want to kiss her and this chick even went on Z100, who's zooming who, and talked about how she banged Search, said it was like sleeping with sleeping with her brother, and, you know, it was just flipping on him. And Search actually called Z100 into the show. So this is a level of pathological lying that this kid follows. And it's sad, really. <laughs> it's really know. sad. But, I don't know uh, what to say, you know, man. he could go fuck himself. All right, man. I mean, look. So, so, hey, CM Mob in the house. CM. You know how we do. CM Mob. Say what's up to the crew. (laughs) 